these are the Y blocks on the back of the machine. Now, in the case of an F-170 and 270, you really don't need these. Um, well, they're, they're, they don't really perform the function that they perform in the F-370. The idea is on the F-370, you actually have four bays, two model and two support, and that allows you to switch between using a single tube going up to the head. In the case of the 170, you um, you don't have that. So you, you see this plug here because it's not connected to a second bay on the support side. You just have one model bay one and support bay one. These actually are consumables. They wear during... Um, wear out over time because what happens is when this comes in on an angle and then gets straightened up up, up here you end up having some wear and the circle that's inside of here will actually turn into an oval these are very simple to replace although they're sometimes pretty tight um, when they're 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 new you just turn them a half a turn in the counterclockwise direction um, thing is there's a little gasket down here and when these haven't been replaced before that gasket's really tight so you'll you'll try to turn it and you really just have trouble sometimes you need to get a tool on it but other, uh, generally you just need to push pretty hard so i've already done that i've cracked them loose i couldn't really do that one-handed but you just once you get it cracked loose the first time it's easy from there on out and we just un, un turn or uh, untwist it and you can see here is the little gasket this is an important piece as well so you don't want to lose this that should sit nicely in there this piece will unscrew as well and then you'll pull that out and this piece in here right now it's brand new so you can see it's perfectly circular but that will wear out and look like an oval and these come in the preventative maintenance kit that gets installed annually if you are on a maintenance contract but you can order these parts if you need them if you if your material is getting snagged and you keep getting pauses while you're printing this is the, one of the first things to check especially if you've never checked it before so I'm gonna put this back on and install it. And then this tube, we wanna make sure it's inserted, seated properly, because if that's not all the way down in there, then we might have some trouble. And then we're just gonna twist this back on. So we can see the tube is inserted fully in there and this is on tight and we've got our gasket seated nicely in there so um, it is important to make sure you see these tubes are inserted fully because if there's a gap in there then the material can actually slip and catch the, the lip of the tube instead of going up into the tube and that can cause loading and unloading issues as well.